Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and it is time to look at Jordan Spieth. Not at his technique, not at his putting, which are obviously fantastic, but at his mental game. One of the main reasons, in my opinion, why he's been able to race to the top of the game so quickly at such a young age. Now, his overall game is something that can't be ignored. You know, he's a very talented player, but the way he operates, the way he thinks, the way his demeanour kind of is on the course, it is incredible. He is such a fantastic all-round mental player at such a young age. Fowler has said he is the strongest player he's seen mentally since Nicholas and may even have the edge on him, which is a fantastic compliment to pay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take two examples two examples which you can take from Spieth apply to your game and which will hopefully pretty much instantaneously start to improve the way you approach the game mentally. Now first of all is positivity. Spieth is probably in interviews one of the most positive people that I've actually heard speak. Now I had the kind of pleasure of managed to be in a press conference up at St Andrews at the Open and actually listening to him speak even about the negatives and somehow he managed to turn those into a positive situation. Probably the best example of kind of the open week was the second day when the winds were blowing and the balls were moving around on the green and it was impossible to actually put. He was one of the players who wasn't happy about it. He made his feelings known. But then in the interviews afterwards, he was saying how, you know what, I think I've gained an advantage because I was out there, I got two pars, and the other players, some of them drop shots, and now I've got a fantastic draw when the weather improves. The first bit of that was true. The second bit, which certainly wasn't the case, but what he did, he managed to say, you know what, actually, I am going to turn this into a positive. And this is something that a lot of people have said about him. During his life and during his kind of golf, he is incredibly positive about everything, even when he doesn't have to be. Now, to be able to be positive, to be able to think positively, isn't easy. It's not easy because everyone likes to look at the negatives. Everyone likes to feel kind of a little bit hard done by sometimes. But the key, the absolute key is to say, you know what, I'm not going to allow myself to be negative. I'm going to look on the positives and I'm going to take it. And there's a little bit of an exercise. The next time you go out play and the day either side of when you know you're going to be playing, be positive about absolutely everything. Remember, negativity and positivity, you have a choice in these matters. You can decide if you're going to be positive. You really, really can. It might sound ridiculous, but you can. People will become what they think of themselves. And if you think of yourself as a positive person, a positive player, your life and your results will be much more positive as a result. Now, that's the first thing to take away because this links in nicely to the second thing which Spieth does, which is very reminiscent of Tiger, but something that he does which will allow him to recall and play better golf for much much longer and that is having what is known as a shot reel. Now shot reels are actually being able to implant in the memory the great shots that you've hit. How many times have you played, hit terrible shots and remembered them all the time. Oh God, that was an awful shot. Hit that terrible shot. Hit that terrible shot. Have a think about the last time you played and think about a bad shot that you hit. Now I reckon pretty quickly you will be able to recall that. So you'd be able to think of that shot. Oh God, God, I can remember that shot because it leaves an emotional imprint. It's kind of, oh God, that was horrible. I don't want to do that again. Unfortunately, what your brain is doing there is recalling that and your body will react. So if you're over a shot and you go, God, I can't, oh God, I hit that terrible slice here last time. Your brain is recalling that and going, oh, that's how I did that. Telling your body, that's how you do that. And eventually you will hit that same shot. Now you can automatically and easily transfer this over. If you think about the last time you played and when you hit a positive shot. So think about when you hit a fantastic shot. Now for some people that might not be as easy to do. Because some people hit a great shot and they go, oh great, fantastic, it's done. But think about it and start to recall that shot in your mind. Now obviously you're going to start feeling a lot more positive about that. Now imagine you started building up a whole memory bank of just those positive shots and you were recalling them all the time, all the time when you were playing and even when you weren't playing. Imagine how positive that's going to make you feel. And that is something which Spieth does, according to his coach and according to people who know him. And this is, a, this is something that Tiger Woods certainly did kind of in his heyday. Everyone who kind of watched Tiger 
um, play when he was playing very, very well. You used to see him do this. So get a set up, hit a good shot. Well, hopefully so anyway. Hold his finish position, tap his right foot, and then spin his club. Now what he was doing there, he was just basically saying to himself, great shot, brilliant shot. But what he was doing, he was tapping his foot, telling himself it was a great shot, telling himself it was a brilliant shot, but then banking it. That toe tap was a bank. It's banked in the brain, I'm not gonna forget it. And the very next time he, well, for example, had a six iron like he hit there, he'd be over this ball doing his pre-shot routine, which I've done videos on before, getting set up and going, God, remember that shot? That was an amazing shot, feeling good. The brain's telling the body what it wants to know. Let's hit that shot again. It's all about being able to recall the positives that you've done and then bring them back into that game. And that is something which Spieth does. So when he hits a positive shot, he says, great shot, I'm absolutely delighted by it. I'm gonna remember that and I'm gonna bank it. Now imagine having a massive bank of the good shots and then letting go all of the bad shots. Now I've done a video on a mental line of no return where you can walk on and forget about the bad shots. Now, I would like you, if possible, to use these two things in conjunction. Bank all the great shots, forget about all the bad shots, and be ultra positive and recall the good shots afterwards as well. Now, a lot of people kind of start to ignore the mental side of the game. A lot of people think, well, yes, that's just for the top pros. How is it going to affect me? Spieth was thinking like this when he was 12, according to his coach. It takes time to bed in. But a positive mental attitude and actually having the ability to think well around the course makes an incredible, incredible difference. If you don't believe me, give it a go. Just give it a go, please. And I guarantee you will hit better shots, but you will also be a lot happier when you're playing as well. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on other social media platforms as well. And we will see you down here next time. Yeah.